with Cherry. Geeking out with Cherry. Hello. We are here celebrating the 100th episode of my favorite show, Grim. Congratulations. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. 100, my lord. My lord. I know. It's unbelievable. I'm just here for continuity at this point. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm the luckiest guy around. Now, how? what have you been thinking about the story arc of the Grimm? Because, you know, at first he had no idea what he was. Now he's all in. And now you're finding out there's other Grimms. Yeah, exactly. So I think... Uh, I think Nick Burkhart went from cop to, to reluctant grim to full grim to not even really a cop anymore. He'll take people out. I've noticed that. Yeah, he's a terrible detective. <laughs> terrible detective. Well, it seems like he thinks he can kill um, the Vessen at will. Can we say that again? It feels like he th thinks he can kill the Vessens at will because they're not real people. Yeah, I don't know the lesson that is being <laughs> learned there. Uh, yeah, he's he's got he doesn't have a good track record. Uh, everybody he's investigated has died. So that's why they're kind of scared. Of you. Don't morph in front of me. You'll get it. Now, what's going on with your love story and your baby mama drama? It's not really baby mama drama anymore. Well, so yeah, so now Adeline and Nick are an item, uh, which is she was my nemesis for so long, and then it's cray cray and. Uh, and Eve, my ex-lover, is now back in the picture. So who knows? It's ramping up for some kind of major fallout. You know, it's basic TV, so you can't have a threesome. Or can you? My God. We behead people on NBC left and right. I don't know if a threesome. I would lobby for that uh, to the network heads if you're interested. I yeah. would take it from the PG up to the PG-13, basically. Precisely. Just, a, just like three-way kissing. Um, <laughs> there's too many women involved now. Like, I feel like Nick Burkhardt's going to have different email accounts. Like, oh, oh no, log out. Um, so, yeah. A little bit of a player. A little bit of a player, by accident. Now, I'm really excited that you're now getting the new book set. Yes. What is that going to entail for the upcoming final uh, episodes for the season? Well, we have not, I have not read the last episode of the season yet. I've read everything but that. Um, yeah, all the new books. A uh, lot more toys going to be found out. A lot of, uh, we like the old, like, ancient weapons, and you'll be seeing a lot more of those. What's been your favorite weapon? I always like just the, I like the, the bar with chain and ball with spikes at the end of it. Is that called a mace? It's a mace. Yeah, yeah, I think it like the mace, because it's just so like, oh, no one's happy. If you miss, it can like swing back. It's bad. It is badass, it's kind of scary. It's terrifying, yes. And then tetanus, you can get tetanus. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. Who's been your favorite Vessen? It's so it gotta be the blue pod. It's gotta be Monroe, you know? The original Vessen. OG Vessen. Monroe's awesome. You guys have, you, and Hank have the best chemistry with, I mean, it's like the three musketeers. Yeah, he's the, we're all little musketeers, and uh, I agree with that. They're, they're wonderful to act beside. Now, what's been your favorite episode of the first hundred? My God, I'm a big fan of El Kikui. I like when we get into, like, legitimate mythology that wasn't necessarily a Grimm's fairy tale. Um, and <laughs> it's funny, like, we'll do certain... El Kikui was one, Chupacabra was another, Aswang, various different countries go nuts for these things. So like the Aswang, the Philippines lost it for us. And like Chupacabra, all of Latin America was like, oh yes, Chupacabra. So anyway, it's fun. So cool. Will you guys be doing a Krampus? Oh, well, you guys already did a Krampus. We did a Krampus, yeah. We did a Krampus. That was a good one. That was really scary. That was my Christmas present to myself. Oh, that, it was fantastic. Now, working on the show with everybody, what's been the most difficult thing? I know you guys live in Portland, so you're not at home. Yeah, it's kind of like an isolation chamber in a way, because you're just on set like in a, like by a river in Oregon all the time. And like slowly, that just kind of becomes your life after five years. So that's been the weirdest thing, just kind of like your life slowly goes to another city and whatever. Um, but it's a small price. We have made wonderful new friends with the cast, obviously, and a couple people here and there in the Portland area, and uh, it's been wonderful. I love that you guys give back to the Portland Children's Hospital. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations on the fundraiser. Thank you, thank you, yes.